Matt, I'm going to use you, brother. You good with that? <laughs> Come on, my man. We're going to put you right here, and you're going to face me, okay? The reason I put you here um, is kind of stylistic, meaning I could have put you on both sides. But the reason that I want you right here is not stylistic. It's because you can see the most components in this movement when you're standing here. Based on this position, tell me what we know we can see in terms of his squat. Well, if I can look here, I can see if they're going to move, move generate, move back. Forward. Exactly. If the line of action is correct by the hips going back, what else can I see? Heels. Heels. Whether or not he keeps the weight balanced in them or out of them. Or whether or not he actually loses lumbar curve. Anything else over here we can see? Depth. Yeah, whether or not the hip crease be goes below parallel. Now, the challenge is, when I'm standing right here, there's one big ticket item that I really can't see from here. What is that thing? Knees tracking over the toes, and that's a critical piece. So if you're standing here, you never want to get stuck here in any of your classes or any of your instruction. You always want to make sure that you're adjusting your position because if not, you'll miss that knee positioning, okay?